Hello, this is Dylan, JKJ19, and today I will be showing you um, the new code for my Nerd Kits. And um, I'd like to thank the Nerd Kits people for their great support and help. And also, I'd like to thank everyone that helped me on the Nerd Kits forum. So now I'm going to let it run. Okay, so let me just tell you something about it. It displays temperature in four in um four different scales. It displays it in Fahrenheit, Celsius, Kelvin, and something that I made up, degrees D, which is um it's just uh Celsius except um you subtract 24 from it which is about room temperature so zero degrees D is room temperature and it goes up and down from there so and also the bottom screen scrolls and tells you a bit about some stuff so now I'm just gonna let it roll Oh, hi, I'm back again, and, um, make sure you, uh, press the high-quality button in, down there, and, um, so this is a screenshot of, um, my code, that Windows Live Photo gal Gallery utterly messed up, and, um, well, I told it to stitch all the three pictures, I three screenshots I took of my code together and this is what I got which is sort of weird so but it you can read it at least so uh, this is my code and I'll explain a little bit about how it works um, well this is a normal temp sensor code that comes with the nerd kit except it is um, modified and at uh, line 87 we have um, sc scroll pause or pause or 
Well, it's supposed to be scroll pause. It's short for scroll position. And this actually tells the LCD where of this, um, of the constant character on line 85, how many, um, characters to the right it should be displaying. And so actually, it's really that, um, that line is really long there for the constant character. And, um, so scroll pause, scroll pause, uh, starts out as zero. And, um, let's see, here at line 119 and 120, it's, um, it's adding one every increment of, um, time. So there's a delay and then adds one and then there's a delay and then it adds one. So that makes it scroll since it tells the LCD the position and you're adding one to it every once in a while and each time you add one it moves the, LC the LCD over a bit and so that's how it works and um, down here from line 101 to line 117 we have the normal stuff going on uh, the line 107 has um, the normal temperature in Fahrenheit uh, and it converts it to Celsius and then displays that. And um, line 111 converts it to Celsius and then adds 274.15 to get Kelvin. And then line 114 um, converts it to Celsius and subtracts 23. I said 24 before, but 23 is basically it. Now, um, this loop at 122 and 123, uh, um, well, um, actually, I'm not really that sure what it does, but, um, I think it, it, well, actually, I have no clue, but, because I'm sort of new to this, and, so, um, I was having a bit of trouble with the code at first, and actually, um, I learned from the Nerd Kids team that I was declaring, um, I was declaring scroll position as, um, as 8 bits, and 8 bits is, has, um, 256, uh, numbers, including zero, so, and, um, from my previous experience, experience and from what they said um 127 is the middle and actually above that is positive and below that is negative and so i was actually so in reality there are actually 127 um there are 127 positive ones which it uses and the problem was that after um after about 120 something characters, uh, yeah, about 127 characters, or a little more than that, it would start to get corrupted, and I was told by the Nerd Kids team that this was because the, um, it was going back down to zero, and then up, and this negative, uh, this negative value confused it. And that happened, or at least that's how I, I interpreted it. So, um, now it works, and it's great. So, um, also I have the code attached. And, um, if you have a nerd kit, I hope this helps. So, you can, um, uh, use my code, and thanks for watching. Bye.